I'm Vern Dryden, and this is a 16-year-old quarter horse. He's got uh, about a year and a half history of chronic front end lameness, um, localized with hoof testers to the heels. Uh, we just trotted him. He's about uh, one out of five lame on the left front on the straight, uh, two and a half out of five lame on the left front, circling to the left, and then about a one and a half out of five on the right, circling to the right. So it's a very uh, common presentation for a navicular horse, and that's kind of what my assumption is on him. But we're going to go ahead and block him and make sure that he blocks out to the low PD. So I'm just going to block the, uh, the left front first see where that gets us. And if he uh, blocks out to the left front, we'll go ahead and block the right front. Hopefully, we'll have our uh, localization. The nerve block we're going to do is a, a PD. So it's about the lowest you can get in a nerve block on the foot, on the limb. Um, some people have thought in the past that it only pertains to the back half of the foot, but you can also block um, the sole and uh, the palmar aspect of the uh, coffin joint as well. Doesn't take much, only about two or three cc's over each side. So now we're just gonna put him in a stall for about 10 minutes and let that block set in. So I decided to go ahead and block the right front after the left front since the lameness was so much improved with the PD on the left front, I wanted to make sure that we were going to localize it to the same area on the right front. If you don't, then you need to go ahead and block higher in order to make sure that there aren't other structures involved besides the, the bottom back half of the foot. So that's why we did that. After evaluating him with the low PD in the right front, uh, he got about 40% improved. We're going to go ahead and do an uh, uh, abaxial block to make sure that we get all the lameness resolved and uh, then take follow-up radiographs. So after doing a left front PD block, uh, she or he went sound on that foot, switched to the right front. Uh, we did a PD block on the right front foot and got about 40% improvement. So we're going to do an abaxial nerve block on the right front and see if that will resolve our lameness. After the abaxial nerve block on the right front, we got about 80% resolution of the lameness. So we're going to go ahead and pull the shoes and take radiographs and see what kind of pathology is there. It's, uh, it's really important when you're going to take foot films to, to clean up the foot and make sure there's no, there's no dirt or rocks or any, any kind of debris around the frog that can miss, cause you to misinterpret your, your radiographs. So. Gotta make sure they're really clean. So the standard views that we're gonna take is a, is a standing lateral, a horizontal DP, that's where the, the view comes straight on like this. And we're gonna take three views of a DV that goes from top to bottom. Uh, one of those being, or two of those being obliques so that we can visualize the, the wings of the coffin bone. And then we're gonna take a skyline of the navicular bone which really gives us good detail of the flexor surface of the navicular bone. So all, all six shots are really important as to finding and diagnosing how, uh, what kind of pathologies are in the navicular bone. So on the radiographs, um, we saw some bony changes in the navicular bone of both fronts. Uh, he had a little bit of sclerosis in each uh, and loss of cortical medullary junction. So that's telling us that he's had some chronic inflammation over a long period of time. Um, he also has a little bit of spurring on the, the wing of the navicular bone and a little bit of spurring at the proximal border. So what that essentially is telling us that he's got a little bit of mineralization towards the top of the navicular bone um, and it's putting a lot of stress on the, uh, this apparatus here. And to, take, to counteract that, uh, what I'm going to recommend is they put him in a shoe with a very slight wedge and they'll roll the toe, they'll have their farrier put in a pretty aggressive roll on the toe to get the breakover point back so it takes, takes the stress off of that navicular apparatus. Um, this horse is also sore over his frog so he may benefit from having like a pour-in pad 
to protect this frog while he rehabs and, uh, and gets better.